You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Okay. Mm. Let's continue more with Maggie Wolf. Sorry, I had to lick a bit of ice cream from my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had chocolate ice cream. It was great. Uh, anyway, uh, let's continue, shall we? Enjoy. It was quite a bit of a problem lately. It was just ordinary as Maggie and the others came across some sort of circus. It looked like some sort of amusement park. Maggie strolled up to it and looked around for a bit. Hmm, I don't see anyone around here. Nice place though. Very, very talented, I guess. Misaka Misaka wishes to try and climb up here. There was a ladder right on a pole. Accelery called out, Hey kid, don't go up there. Misaka Misaka is just curious. I just want to see for myself. You're a stubborn piece of work, kid. Get down from there before you hit yourself. Misaka Misaka just wants to see. Now, leave me. I will be climbing, Misaka Misaka stated. Does she always talk like that? Yoichi asked. Uh, you have no idea. She's a bit of a pest. <laughs> she seems pretty cute. Yeah, she's a cute kid. What would I be without her? Misaka Misaka was still chattering and climbing when all of a sudden she slipped onto something and she nearly fell. Accelerator was about to catch her when all of a sudden a young woman already did that and she managed to glide herself down with the use of an umbrella. Whoopsie daisy, she said, and she managed to get onto the ground. Oh, where did she come from? Maggie said, wow, that was awesome. <laughs> Sting said, that's when the woman approached. Hi, sorry about this. Is this kid yours? Accelerator nodded. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. <laughs> Just try to keep a good eye on her. And you little missy, you better be more careful next time. Misaka Misaka apologizes. Misaka Misaka was just curious. Last order said, I told you not to climb up there, but you didn't listen. You said you were curious. Misaka Misaka was just, just, it's all right. But listen, I don't think it's a good idea for you to climb up there. Next time you want to climb up there, come and find me. I'm always in my tent or in my dressing room, okay? Yes, thank you, Misaka Misaka says. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to intrude, but I came upon here to give someone a special letter. It's from Red Death. What? Maggie demanded. How do you know him? Well, I don't actually represent it, but he asked me to give this to Mr. Sayatomi. Uh, to me? Oh, uh, thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> he has quite an interest for you. Yoichi looked a bit flustered, but he managed to open the letter. What he read made him turn red. Maggie looked over. So what does it say? Sting managed to pull her back, saying, Don't read that. That's his. Well, it must mean something. Look at him. He's flushing like a silly little schoolgirl receiving a love letter. Yoichi was reading it. The more he read, the more his face got a bit hot. Kid, you're running a fever. Somebody give me a washcloth or something. Uh, he's... He's taken an interest in me? Let me read that. 
Maggie said. Then she read it aloud. Dear Mr. Yoichi Sao Tomi. Oh, wow. Being formal, huh? I must say, your performance with the demon gear is quite getting an impression upon me. And I have to say, your expertise on what you do is very phenomenal. Flattery! Flattery! Oh, how wonderful, Maggie said, and she continued. Therefore, I believe I decided I will have you as my candidate. I wish to meet face to face. Wait, what? If you truly agree, then you finally get to meet me. I can't wait to see your fresh face. I must say you're quite a lovely young boy who has so, uh, who, who, who has great and better judgment of others and has a good heart, not to mention you're just the kind of boy that I need. Need? I think it's kind of sweet, Yoichi said. I'm flattered. I didn't know he heard about me. Yoichi said. He is toying with us. He's trying to make us go crazy by using you. But that can't be true. Oh yeah? Well, the letter says so. I wish to spy on him. You can't, Dominique said. He doesn't allow people to spy. He wishes to speak to anyone he finds interesting in private. Anything leaked to anyone else would invade privacy of others. Oh, that is just a bunch of bullshit. Maggie complained. I'm telling you, there is something up with this guy. He has been framing me. He is my donor. He is, I know, I know. I've heard about this too. I know you're not happy, but word is getting around fast. <sighs> so what is Yoichi going to do? Talk to the guy? Yes. But he's going to have a little bit of an escort who knows him. Like who? Maggie said. However, Quarantine's son by the name of Hollis piped up saying, I will. Don't worry. I'll keep Yoichi safe. I know Red Death because I'm his messenger. And I'm also his servant boy. Okay, kid. You take the boy and make sure he is treated well. Hollis nodded. You got it. Good. Yoichi, if he gives you any trouble, not the kid, but Red Death. If, if Red Death gives you trouble, you let me know, I'll kick his ass. Uh, okay. I doubt he would ever do that. But if he does, you let me know. Now. Step to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you guys later. Yoichi walked away. Maggie watched, and she was filled with dread. Meanwhile, Yoichi was walking behind the boy. Um, is he right down this way? Yep. Hollis said. Hollis didn't say anything much. So... How do you know this guy? I just do. Hollis just said. Yoichi realized he wasn't giving any good explanations. Is he like family to you? Hollis looked at him. Family? How would you know that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I should have said anything. No, it's okay. What made you want to say that? Well, it's because... <laughs> because family, it doesn't matter if you're related to or not. They're still family, right? Your friends can be your family too. Yeah. 
Hollis kept walking and Yoichi followed. During that time, Dirge surprised attack and was about to pull the trigger on Yoichi. His goons were about to apprehend him and Hollis when all of a sudden some sort of red mist came. Dirge and his goons were shocked to see who it was. It is Red Death! Run! Run! Get away from there, you bastards! Hurry! They managed to hurry themselves away as Hyoichi was shocked to hear a maniacal laugh. And then the red mess formed into some sort of red substance of a figure. But he was covered in the mist as he said in that demonic tone, I am Red Death. I am here to claim what is mine. And you, Yoichi Sayatomi, you are all mine to despair. Yoichi was shaken. However, Red Death looked and said, Hmm, I suppose this is a little too much for the vulnerable little cherry boy. That's when Red Death's demonic nature faded, and it turned into a figure with black holes for eyes, no nose or mouth, but he could still speak through his disguise in a normal tone. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's one way to get a bang for your buck. Now, I assume you find my appearance now a little less overwhelming? You... You're Red Death? I believe you're very perceptive. Um, if you're Red Death, it was nice of you to write the letter. Yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, I have an assignment for you. Or better yet, you and your Shinoa squad. Oh, so you know about Shinoa? I know everyone. Now then. That's when the young man whirled behind Yoichi and said, I want you to do me a little favor. Yoichi blushed. Uh, oh, okay. Don't get any wrong ideas, okay, kid? There's something you need to know. Do you know someone by the name of Crowley? The name made Yoichi gasp. <gasps> yes, yes. You know where he is? Yes, I do. Now you give this message. Give this to Shinoa, get her squad, get Barrera's team, get everyone over there to the area I will direct you. Crowley is there, and I believe he has a little surprise for your good friend Maggie. You're my only hope, kid. Yoichi nodded. I will. I will do so. He hurried back and he gave the message to Shinoa and the others. Once they managed to track down Crowley, Barrera was crying out, Okay, people, on your toes. We got a live one coming. Let's move. She called out. But they didn't know that Crowley had a little something for Maggie Wolf. All right, y'all. That's it for now, but don't worry, we got more coming your way. I'm Katherine Donovan, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.